Good afternoon to all advanced level students. Uh, you're welcome again to Intelligentsia Network. Let me use this opportunity to thank everyone who has taught it so well to subscribe to my channel. For those who are yet to subscribe and of which you enjoy the videos, I pray you do so. Uh, today we will continue with tutorials on map reading and we'll be talking about the hydrological analysis of a map. Last time, in the other video, if you watched carefully, we talked about the stream ranking and calculation of beautification ratio. This lesson today just came up from uh, stream ranking and the calculation of beautification ratio using the Stradas method, which is the best method to identify the propensity of a stream or of a river to flood an area. So today we shall be calculating rather the stream frequency. Last time we talked about already the beautification ratio of a stream. We want to see the stream frequency. I want you to recall here that our stream frequency we are simply referring to uh, the, the, the manner or the, or the other word, the number of times one comes across stream segment within a given drainage basin. If you recall to last time we talked about the drainage basin and we said that a drainage basin is simply an area which is drained by a main river and its tributaries. And in the map here, which the title is unknown, and the scale of the map is 1 is to 50,000. We are having a hypothetical drainage basin on the board, and we are going to be using this drainage basin. We are going to use this map, sorry, to calculate the frequency, the stream frequency, the number of times we come across a stream segment across this. So, we are going to put down the formula for stream frequency. So, the formula for stream frequency is simply. Total, total number of streams of stream segments within the drainage basin divided by the surface the surface area of the drainage basin just the surface area of the drainage basin now just uh, earlier said in other videos as I we, we have done uh, how we have seen how to calculate the surface area when asked for or asked for on in, in map work. So please get to the playlist and you 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 you, you, you can view the video on how to calculate the surface area of any feature. Then you easily have the area, the surface area. But we should note here that we are going to be calculating whatsoever systematically, beginning from the formula. I always told my students that. You make sure the formula is always placed before you start calculating. So most of that from the formula, you can know the next determinant you're going to look for. So the, the next thing we're going to look here is the total number of stream segments. And how are we going to know the total number of stream segments? So I'll write here, total number of stream segments. Of stream segments. Which is unknown, unless you get Drainage basin, and we calculate to know the total number of stream segments. Let us recall that Shana said that all streams from their sources are always ordered first order streams. So I've already ordered here the, the streams from their sources. We the, from their sources we are ordered first order. So we have the first order stream. I want to draw a table like this one. So it's so a frequency table. So most of that we know the occurrence of first order streams right up to whatever order this drainage basin has. So we really had the first order, right? First order. And if I count carefully, beginning from this one, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we have thirteen. We have thirteen first order streams. And he said here, Strana made it clear again that when two streams of the same orders or homogeneous streams where they meet. At the confluence, the next the, 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 the resultant stream takes the next highest order. And we all know that the next highest order of one is two. So where one and one they are meeting at this confluence, they form the second order stream. We also have a similar situation like this and this, which will give us a second order stream. We have this and this giving us a second order stream. This and this situation give us a second order stream. Uh, I think that is that which we have. So we have here right. Second order stream we count one two three four so 
So on my part, I have four. And then, the second order and the second order string, they meet to give us what we call the third order string. So we have the third order string. Again, trying to make it clear here that in the situation whereby two strings, two strings, heterogeneous strings, or strings that are, are, are different in order, where two strings with two different orders they meet, that with the highest order will predominate or will dominate that of the lowest order. In other words, he was not saying here that we are still going to name that same string with uh, uh, whatever highest order it is, but the highest order is maintained. There is no numbering on the string because we, when, we, when we number the string, we are tempted to increase the size of the, of the river on the map, whereas on the real life situation, the size of the river still remains the same. So, if in this situation where we have the first order and the third order string, the meet, the one is going to give us the same third order string. The second order meeting with the third order string, with the, the third order string still predominates. Here we have the second order, we still meet again, with uh, it meets with the first order string, the second order dominates. The second order meets with the third order string, the third order dominates. So to the end of this channel, one can easily say that this string here is a third, is a third order, the genus basin, sorry, is a third order. Do we? Or the string is a third order string. So, which means we are going to have third order. And on the situation here, we have just one. We have to write one. So, we are working with, we are going to calculate frequency. So, we don't need a fourth order string because based on our formula, we just need to know the total number of string segments divided by the surface area. Had it been, you will have the diffusion ratio where we are going to use the number of streams in one segment divided by the, the, the number of streams in the next highest order, then we will have needed a foot, a foot uh, 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 stream, a foot order stream to come out with that, with that uh, ratio. So what we are going to see right here is the total, the total number of streams, segments we have. So we have 13 plus 4, that's 17, plus 1 will give us 18. So we have 18 strings. So 18 strings. So in this case now, I can carefully remove my question mark and I write here 18 strings. 18 strings. Surface area. Surface area. Yeah, it's simple because we have grid squares for range. So which means that Automatically, the student is supposed to use the bridge square method. So you can divide the formula for area. So the area is equal to area of bridge square times the number of squares times the scale times the, the scale divided by 100,000 times 100,000. Good. Now, the area of a grid square, area of a grid square is equal to side times side. If you want to know why we are multiplying side times side, watch your other video and you understand more better. Now, the side here of this square must be equal to the side of the other square. So let's consider here that the side of this square is 2 centimeters. And therefore, our, our area of the bridge square will be 2 times 2 equals 4 centimeters. Then on this map, we have two squares and we have incomplete squares. So for us to determine the number of squares, we are going to follow that by defining the full squares. Number of full squares. Number of full squares. You look carefully. There's a lone square that we have here, which is a full square. The others, the others are incomplete squares or supplementary squares, squares, squares. So they are incomplete squares. So we are working only with this relation basis where, 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 where it is designated as such. So we are not working with the whole map. And even when we are working with the whole map, then we will have used the other formula, I think so, the length times the, the width. So since we are working with an irregular object, we are going to use the grid square method as it has grid squares on this. So the number of full squares here is 1. I'm going to write here 1. And incomplete squares, I'll start counting from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And 
triangle and eight. So I'm going to write incomplete squares. Number of incomplete squares. Number of incomplete squares is eight. Divided by two to give me four, four incomplete squares. Therefore, total total number of squares is equal to four plus one, four plus one, which is five squares. Five squares. Therefore, area is equal to the area of every square which is four centimeters times the number of squares, 5, times the mass scale or the value is 50,000 50, times 50,000 all this is divided by 100,000 and it's 100,000 so 50 cancers here two and year 1, year 2 and year and two cancers for two, two cancers to one, and therefore our area, area will equal to five kilometers square. Five kilometers square. The area, but we are not going to the stream frequency. So we are supposed to calculate now the stream frequency since all the determinants, the determinants are given. So therefore, stream. Equals to the total number of stream segments which you have here 18 streams. You must always write streams as such. All this divided by 5 kilo equals uh, 3.6 streams. Six, six streams per kilometers square. So which implies here that the significance of our answer is always important to give the significance of the answer. The significance of the answer means that in uh, 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 between one kilometer distance, one is expected to find at, the, at most or uh, at least four streams within one kilometer square area. So that is that about the stream frequency. And remember when you calculate stream frequency, you must see there the significance.